Hello and welcome to the course on the Onera M6 wing and uh, we have solved the problem of uh, CFD analysis and also we have gone through the different uh, results and validation. And here the only point here is that I want to try the pressure based solver and I want to see the results changes. So if you go to general we have the two solvers density based which we use already and second one is the pressure based okay and in the pressure based solver we have again the there are the four options if you go to the methods coupled this is the default one and simple simplex and piezo so the difference between the two sets are that the simple or uh, simplex they work on the same principle only difference is there is some changes in the formulation and the piso is the same thing but it's for transient flows okay so now we are with the coupled solver this coupled solver is the point of discussion right now and anyhow because the mac number is uh, 0.83 Nine five, so we cannot use the simple simplex or piezo because they are used for incompressible flow. When Mach number is less than, when Mach number is less than 0.3, okay. But here the flow is transonic, so traditionally we use density based solver. But now we are thinking about the pressure based solver and in the pressure based solver we are using the coupled version okay so coupled version basically what happens here is that it simply couples the continuity equation continuity or mass conservation and momentum three momentum equations in x y and z direction and in the case of simple they are solved but in a sequence so solution goes from continuity to momentum, momentum to continuity until we satisfy the pressure and three velocity components and at the same time also the mass flow is satisfied and the momentum equation is satisfied completely. Okay. But in the case of couple solve, this problem is solved because we solve them simultaneously in a single matrix. So we don't need to go in this loop. Anyhow, so I will be using the coupled solver, simple thing, and uh, just keep the default settings which are given here. And only thing is that I want to initialize from the beginning. So initialize from far field, click on initialize, and I will be comparing the drag coefficient and uh, lift coefficient and pitching moment coefficient. So we have already this data with different y plus values and single position and double position for this problem we are going to use a y plus uh, every y plus is around 31 and uh, it's a single position solver so this data set will be compared okay now click on calculate And the interesting thing is that it takes less iteration and also the RAM requirements are less as compared to density based solver and so is the CPU power. Okay, I have some license problem. I will be restarting the fluid and I will run the case and then I will show you results. And uh, you can see that the solution is uh, converging in this way. Although the residual plots, they are not converging very nicely as uh, you might have seen in the case of the density based solver. But for example, if we compare them, let me tell you the density based solver basically is converging in this way because of the FMG and solution steering. Without solution steering and FMG initialization, solution will not, would not be behaving in this way. So here you can see that this is converged very nicely here. 
but one more thing you can see if you take a look on the on the cl plot and uh, from here let me show you the you can see here that the conversion plot for cl in case of pressure based solver which is uh, here and this is for the density base please let me write down these things so that we can be not get confused This is for the pressure based and previously we have done the uh, same case based on density based solver. So you can see that uh, it converts to the to the level like uh, and it does not go in this way. You can see that going up and down but it converge, converges to converts to the those uh, exact range uh, very quickly and uh, in the less than 40 iterations it is almost at the value then it is adjusting very little on the on the go and uh, same same goes with uh, with the uh, cd again you can compare here and uh, if you compare pitching movement you can see the difference again so these up and downs and extreme values but here it is going very smoothly to low value and again then to the required value okay now as far as the the results are concerned so let me add the one more column okay so i am adding the one more column here and uh, from uh, layout insert to the right and uh, this is the from pressure based solver okay so it's easy to get data instead of going to the force report and uh, get data from here because this is already solved and uh, you can exactly see that uh, the lift coefficient is this one and this is 0.266 37 and the CD is 1.01695 uh, and the CM is this minus value is minus so it's going to be the minus 0 0.018901 and now if we discuss results you can see that that uh, the results for uh, for the momentum moment coefficient pitching moment coefficient here is the 0.19 and in the case of nasa cfd which was done at the around 70 million cells with a structure mesh and y plus value y plus was less than 0.5 okay so pressure based solver results are matching here you can see 0 0.0189 0 0.0189 but then the four digit is seven and here is the zero now as far as the cd is concerned so for the cd you can see it's a 0 0.0169 0 0.0169 here is a five the four digit but here it's a eight so this is again very close to the NASA, the pressure based solver. And the third one is a CL, it's a 0.26, it's a 0.267, it's a 0.263, it's a 0.266. So it's uh, not very close, but it's better than the, uh, the density based solver. And uh, so now we can conclude the few things from here. Number one is that the results are much closer to NASA data. But I cannot say it's a generalized thing because this is only one case and therefore I cannot give you the generalized view on the uh, pressure based solver and the density based solver. So I need to solve maybe four, five, four, to five, uh, four to five more cases to be able to give you the absolute verdict that the word is best. And the second thing which I'm, I'm, I'm very much sure is that if you take a look on the convergence plot, so the convergence was achieved very early in the case of the in the case of the 
pressure based so you can see that it is converging at around after 250 iterations but the convergence here for any variable is within 40 iterations and maybe after 60 70 it is almost on in a straight line and uh, same is the case with the cd and same is the case with the cl it means now now it means that it uh, the density based solver requires more memory more cpu power and uh, the file size is bigger and also it, it requires some more iterations although based on the solution staining it goes to the current number of 200 but still in that case with the very high current number the solution converge to after 250 or 300 iterations but here is almost after 40 to 50 iterations so now it's up to you to decide about this thing that we solve what you're going to use use density based or the pressure based okay so thank you for watching this uh, video about the two solvers density based and pressure based and you select that one from here